guys, it is me, Coach Lexi, and we gotta talk about Demetria Devon Lovato, also known as Demi Lovato, because she is just amazing. I am feeling her whole vibe right now. Everything that she's doing is just really great, and I'm in love with it. And so today, I wanna talk about it, but in particular, I wanna talk about her message of confidence. Because that is something that I have always struggled with. I t walked around when I was a child with this thought in my head that I needed to be just grateful for any kind of friendship, relationship, or attention that I received, whether it was positive or negative. Because I felt like I was not special, I wasn't unique, I wasn't worthy of much. I was worthy of a little bit, but not a lot. And therefore, whatever I could get, should be good enough. That mentality is so horrible. It's so limiting because number one, you don't accept every opportunity that comes your way um, necessarily because some opportunities you have to have a sense of confidence to, to experience them. I wouldn't get those because I didn't have that the confidence or you'll kind of accept crappy things from people, um, crappy expectations, uh, crappy offerings, crappy friendships and all that stuff because you just feel like you don't deserve to ask for much more, um, even though you should. Um, and so it's, it's not a good way to think. It's not a good way to think. And especially as you get older and you become an adult and you have to maybe ask for things like salary, you have to ask for time off. Uh, you have to apply for certain jobs. There's a sense of confidence that you have to have in order to apply for that job. You have to think that you're capable. But if you feel like you're not worthy, you're not even gonna apply for that opportunity. You're not even going to open yourself up to it. As women, uh, in particular, men have this issue too because confidence is a human issue. It's not necessarily a gender issue, but as women, we definitely face this a lot. We, we're taught from a young age that um, you know, humility looks like denying our ownership of bringing something of value to the table. But that's not true humility. That's not humility at all. And, um, and I, I've learned quite a few lessons about that. Now, Demi Lovato um, has a very interesting story. She obviously, we know her as a girl that was you know, in Hollywood. She started in Barney and Friends, and now she's who she is. Um, but we also know her as somebody that was in the tabloids for drug use, for violence, and all these different things. I mean, just for a little bit, not a lot. She wasn't like a Lindsay Lohan kind of thing, but she, you know, made a few poor choices. Um, but a lot of it stemmed from the fact that she didn't have a lot of self-confidence. She didn't feel attractive. She didn't feel um, smart enough, and she didn't feel capable. I really resonate with that because growing up, that's exactly how I felt. I felt like I wasn't smart enough. I felt like I wasn't um, uh, beautiful enough. I felt like I was too dark. I was too loud. I was too this, too that, not enough of that, and not enough of this. And so it prevented me from being able to feel strong about who I was. Demi also has experienced that and she talks about that. And now she's at a place in her life where she's feeling really confident. She's confident in her strength, in her body, in her voice, in her brains. And I'm loving that message because it's something that I now also am resonating with too. I'm starting to feel confident in myself, my skills, my values, my brains, my business, um, my body, my health. I'm starting to really feel confident. And some of the ways that I, um, started to change, I guess, my self-confidence is one, I started to really evaluate my self-talk. We spend so much time putting ourselves down and talking about all the things that we're not good at, that we're not focusing on the stuff that we are good at. Um, there's nothing wrong with being truthful about where you need to grow. There's areas that we all have to work on. But there's also nothing wrong with recognizing where you're excelling and what value you bring and, and letting that be known. Um, I think that when you start to tell yourself, wow, yeah, I'm really good at connecting people with great resources, or I'm really good with this, I'm really good with that, and you start uh, continuing to tell yourself how good you are at these things, not being delusional about it, but just telling yourself how good you are at these things, you start to feel a sense of confidence because you know that what you bring to the table is of value. 
So instead of continuing to, to play that tape in your head about what you're not great at, start to change that tape and start to say, you know, what am I good at and how can I keep utilizing it? I think another thing that has really helped me, honestly, is um, I started to speak out loud my value. Um, one of the greatest things that I love about job interviews, and I know this is weird, nobody loves job interviews, but I actually really like them because it's an opportunity for me to tell you, to tell somebody what my strengths are. It's a full 30 minutes or 45 minutes to an hour of a conversation about why I am valuable for and necessary for this position and so it forces me to have to think about what are my strengths what are the areas that i need to grow and how am i working towards growing in those areas um so it's a fantastic time for you to evaluate your strengths and then present them and when you speak those things out loud like for myself when i walk out of a job interview and i've spoken those things remembering all the value that i've brought to the very the various places of employment um that i've uh, been at I walk out feeling like, wow, yeah, I have accomplished a lot in a very short amount of time or whatever the case is, you feel great. So you have to start speaking that value to other people, whether it's going to networking events, whether it's speaking the value that you bring to your family members or in your relationship, you have to start speaking that out loud. And then it's not enough to just speak and say, I am confident because I'm this. You need to share it with people. And by this, this is what I love particularly about what Demi's doing. Because she's not just saying, I feel confident in the fact that now I'm healthier mentally and physically. Like she's not just saying that that's all she's doing. What she's saying is, I feel confident, so so I want to let you know that I feel confident. When, if her, in her song called Confident, she says, what's wrong with being confident? There's nothing wrong with owning your confidence and owning the unique value that you bring nothing wrong with that now there's something wrong if you're putting down other people in order to build yourself up obviously that's never right but if you're in a place where you're saying i recognize that i am valuable and i want you to know that i'm valuable there's nothing wrong with that that's the mentality that we need to have in order to build and maintain maintenance of the confidence um, when you continually remind people what makes you valuable people start to recognize and remember what makes you valuable and the truth is that each of us has a unique uh, skill set perspective that other people don't have and people won't know what that perspective is they won't know what that value is if we're not speaking it and letting people know what it is now I'm no better than Susie Q you know or whatever I'm no better than them but their value is different than my value and now when we come together Together, we're part of a puzzle piece so we make beautiful you know art together because it's a puzzle piece however we also are just very valuable I'm important she's important and here's why I'm important there's nothing wrong with recognizing that and bringing that to the forefront owning who you are and saying this is me this is what I bring let's do something about it um, there are many different ways to build your confidence, um, but I think one of the biggest ways that you have to build in order to build is to definitely take a moment to just evaluate your strengths and then start speaking them and using them, you know, and, and really letting people know what your strengths are. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments about your perspective on how to build confidence and um, and how you maintained your self-confidence. What are some of the hangups that you face and, and you know, what do you think would help you to build your confidence? Please leave some comments in the um, comments below as well as check out my blog. Links and everything are all down below because I continue the conversation over on my website at coachalexandriaj.com. And that is all for today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I hope that this video encourages you at least a little bit. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. We can set the world on fire.